Hey guys, it's John with Roblu Custom Rods, and today I'm going to show you how to add this fly reel seat um, to a lightweight rod that does not require a fighting butt and has a cap on the bottom of it like you see here. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is um, I want to go ahead and rough up my blank. So this blank here um, is a Sage LL490 Graphite 3 uh, four weight blank that I'm building for a customer. And so I like to just take my green pad um, on the blank. As you can see, it's quite shiny. I just like to take my green pad and just rough it up a little bit. All I'm trying to do is take some of that shine out of there. Just like that. So you can see how shiny it is here. And then now how dull it is there. So once I've got that complete, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol on a piece of blue shop towel, which you guys have seen uh, in my community tab uh, and in the videos. I swear by using these blue shop towels, I love them. Uh, they're lint free. They don't pr they don't leave anything on uh, you know any residue on any of your builds that you're doing when you're cleaning up. So all I'm doing is just taking a little bit of that alcohol in that blue shop towel and just wiping it off. And all I'm doing is just getting any dust off from fiberglass dust off from where I buffed it up a little bit. Again, here's what it looks like shiny. And here's what it looks like, um, you know, dulled and clean. So the real seat that I'm going to be adding um, is this carbon real seat here um, with the butt cap on the bottom. Um, no fighting butt, just going to go with the butt cap. So there's a couple of things really that um, are important to consider here. The first thing is, um, is that I want to mark where I'm going to have this real seat sit um, on this blank. Again, if I was adding a back end butt to this, I would have, you know, the real seat would be up a little bit depending on how long that was. But since I'm coming down here pretty flush, all I'm doing is lining this up at the end like this. So they're flush together. And then I'm just making a mark with my China pencil, China marker, grease pencil, whatever you like to call it. <clears throat> and so I have an idea of where that's going to be at. And then I'm basically going to want to use some masking tape to come in and build my arbor. So I don't want to be right at the top. Um, some people like to have that arbor right at the top so it sits flush um, inside the real seat. I like to come back in just a little bit. Why do I like to come in just a little bit? I feel like if I, you know, come in a little bit when I slide the real seat on and it dries and then I go to add the um, foregrip, uh, in this case a half wells foregrip, when I slide that down, some of that paste as I slide it down um, is going to fill this chamber, but it's also go down inside a little bit and just, I feel like, give me a little bit better lock. It's, I'm actually really kind of locking from the inside the handle to the real seat. So I'm just making a mark here for one. And then I think what I'm going to do, yep, yeah, and then I'll, I'm going to make another mark for the second all right so this is where my two arbors are going to be when i build them up the next thing that i want to think about um, is why did i not put the arbor all the way down um, to the bottom so why didn't i put the arbor all the way down here um, well you could um, if you had a fighting butt down here that was going to come off the end and, you know, you could have it like that if you wanted to. Again, I like to leave it in a little bit, but in this case, because there is no fighting butt and we just have the end cap to that um, real seat, I need to make sure that when it slides in, it'll slide in and won't butt up against the tape arbor um, and stop from going in all the way and be, being seated properly. So I just keep it in a little bit. And then that'll allow that real seat to go in. So once this is on the arbor and it's flush like this, the end cap will go on and it'll sit properly. So I'll just slide um, that real seat up a little bit. And now all I'm going to do 
is build up these arbors. And actually, I like to work from the bottom down. Um, some people like to work from the top down, but I like to work from the bottom down. The reason why I like to work from the bottom down is because as I build the arbor, I like to slide the real seat down over uh, and make sure that it has a good fit, right? So if I do that over this one first, sometimes when I come down to here, it's hard for me to determine. I don't want to say hard for me to determine, but like I, I like to take any of the guessing work out of it. If I slide down here first and I know that this end has a good um, tight seat, seat on that tape, then I'll come back here and work the top part of it. And that way I know it sits properly. You know, the, the, there's no right or wrong answer doing it to the top or starting at the bottom. I just prefer um, to start at the bottom. So I'm going to continue to build this arbor. And again, you want to have as much contact between the rod blank and the actual real seat that you're adding. Some people think um, that, you know, I, you can come back here and have a third arbor. Uh, and in reality, you know, you, you probably can. Um, but the idea here is two arbors are enough because one, I'm using a, a, a much wider tape um, than if I was using something like this tape. Um, and so I'm using two pieces for the arbor. Uh, and then that's going to give me contact, uh, a plenty of contact with the real seat and the blank. If I was using something as narrow as this tape, I would have probably three or four, probably because it's pretty thin. I probably have about four, um, four arbors if I was using that. But I like to use the wider tape. And we got a little bit more to go. I'm going to keep building this arbor. Okay, and we're going to slide that down. Yep, still got a ways to go. Okay, so in this case, I have a little bit too much tape. All I got to do is come back and back that off a little bit. I'll set that piece of tape aside. Try it again. I'm still a little too much. And I just do this in short pieces because I like to make sure I got a good tight fit. A uh, little bit too tight there. I'll back it off again a little bit. And then there, that's a good fit. That is a good fit um, on here. But you notice now when I slide it down, I am touching um, on the inside a little bit of the real seat. And what I mean by that is you can see on the inside here that I have a little bit of a lip that I have to compete with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change direction a little bit um, and I'm going to come back and I need to move that arbor down a little bit. Um, and be, again, because um, I have this end cap. I want to make sure I'm not putting tape too far down here. Um, so I, I, I don't want to slide it to the right anymore. Um, and the next option could be I could just take off some more tape until it slides in a little bit. And that's true. However, it would have a good tight fit on one part of the arbor where it gets a little bit tighter on the inside. And then in that space where that ring is, it would actually be a little bit looser. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this tape off
And now what I want to do is I'm going to come in and come in with my little bit more narrow of a tape. And I think I'm going to come in right about here. And that should give me the fit that I'm looking for. Plus, it's going to give me plenty of surface contact with the blank and the real seat. All right, so that is going to give me a good fit there. Then what I want to do is come down here to this one. We're going to finish up this one here. And so I'm just repurposing some of this tape that I peeled off from the first arbor. And again, remember when I slide it down, I don't want it to be super um, tight in this first part here because remember I have that ring on the inside so I don't need to have it built up as high as I did back there in the back. Okay, so let's check and see how that fit goes. That is probably it. I'm going to just double check by adding a little bit more. Or I can just reverse it. And so to make sure that the top part is going to fit right, all I'm doing is reversing the real seat, sliding it down. And I've got a good, nice fit right onto that arbor, right like that. So that arbor doesn't slide down. So I know that I'm good to go. And then all I have to do um, now is add the pro paste. So I've already mixed up my paste, as you can see here. So I was working on a couple other handles. Um, and so I'm just making sure it's good to go. Got it all mixed up. And then what I want to do is I want to coat the blank evenly. So I'm going over the tape because that's my arbor. I want to make sure I got good uh, adhesion to that tape. And then I like to fill in the cracks a little bit there along the tape. And then add all the pro paste. And again, I'm adding enough pro paste on here to make sure I have this gap filled in um, with paste so I have good adhesion between the real seat and the blank. And then I'll come back here a little bit. And add some paste to the tape. All right. Now what I want to do is go ahead and prepare to slide down the real seat. And I'm going to slide that real seat on there. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to come back with a piece of tape. I got a little bit ahead of myself there. And I like to put a piece of tape on the threads of the real seat. And what that does is helps make sure that we don't get any paste on those threads. They can be kind of difficult to clean. And then now I'm just sliding and I like to rotate 
I'll, I'll go in, I'll back it out a little bit. And then I'll start coming down. And then I can come back here, grab some more paste if I like. And just make sure I got good coating of paste on here. I like to go back and forth a few times. It helps me remove all the air bubbles out of there. And then what I'll do is I'll come back with my stick here. Take that off. Slide that rail seat over the spot that I want it at, and I'll set it down for a moment. Come back with some isopropyl alcohol in my shop towel. Now what I like to do is I like to go back and clean off the tape. And the reason why is it just makes it a little bit easier cleaning some of that paste off the tape. I won't clean it all off, but I like to clean off some of it. Then I'll just go grab the tape. Remove that. And then I like to come in here and just check my work, clean it up a little bit. Make sure I've got clean hands. And then that's it. And then, all right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and make sure that I turn my reel seat and line it up with uh, the spine of the rod, you know, where I have it, uh, the spine set up at. So that way I make sure that my reel seat uh, and my reel will be in line with the spine of the rod. So make sure I'm taking full advantage of the parabolic bend um, on this rod. And then the last thing I want to do is go ahead and add the butt cap. Um, and so what I like to do is just take back this off just a little bit. Come in here. with my paste. Do a little dab inside the cap. Slide the reel seat back over into the position that I like it at. I'm going to take just wipe a little bit of this off with a kind of concave wipe, if you will, to make sure any of that paste falls to the inside. And then I'm going to take the cap. Slide the cap on and slide the reel seat down all the way. And then I've got a nice tight fit. And then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and secure this with some tape. And now that I have the tape on there, 
the last thing I'll do is I'll just come back with a little piece here. And that'll help me hold that cap on. So I have the cap here on the top. Uh, and then I have it taped down. I have no paste protruding out of the side. And then what I'll do is I'll come go ahead and make sure I'm aligned again with the parabolic bend on the rod. And I'm going to go ahead and let that cure up. So um, I hope you're able to get something out of this video. Um, please uh, feel free to share the video if you think someone will find value out of it. Um, and also hit the like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments block. And uh, make sure you guys watch this next video here. Until next time, guys. Take care. Bye.